Hi, thanks a lot for joining. It is already some years ago when we first described the trichoscopy or the dermoscopy marker of tinea capitis, the coma hairs. There are now more typical features described, but still the coma hairs remain the most typical feature of tinea capitis. Here is a trichoscopy image with the arrows pointing to the coma hairs or the C-shaped hairs, which are the typical feature of tinea capitis. If we see just one C-shaped or coma hair-shaped structure, this is not sufficient to make the diagnosis. But if, such as in this image, we have a field of view full of the coma hairs, we can be almost certain that this is tinea capitis. So in such a case, I would start therapy this is another presentation of coma hairs in a patient with a more inflammatory form of tinea capitis. And then another trichoscopy feature of tinea capitis, which was described mainly in patients with dark skin phototypes, these are the corkscrew hairs. These are the coma hairs which tend to coil multiple times. They form a corkscrew like structure. And here, an example published by Ana Maria Pinero and co workers. Here again, you see multiple corkscrew hairs in a patient with tinea capitis. As mentioned before, the corkscrew hairs in patients with lighter skin phototypes are quite rare. So this even was a case report which was described in the JAMA Dermatology with an adult white patient who had tinea capitis and they manifested in trichoscopy but with the presence of the corkscrew hairs. In our patients, in our geographic area where we have mainly patients with the lighter skin phototypes, we may see some structures which may want to resemble a corkscrew hair, but this is far from what we see in the literature. Two more typical features of tinea capitis trichoscopy. Number three are the Morse code hairs or the interrupted hairs. They are marked blue at the bottom of this image. You see the typical interruptions along the hair shaft. And feature number four are the zigzag hairs. These are hairs which bend at a very sharp angle. So the four most typical trichoscopy features of tinea capitis are the coma hairs, the corkscrew hairs, the morse code hairs, and the zigzag hairs. Some not so common trichoscopy presentations of tinea capitis, the eye hairs, you see they have a block-like structure with the accentuation at the distal end or hyperpigmentation at the distal end, and the block hairs. They have a transverse fracture, so they may look like a block. We called them block hairs when we were writing the Atlas of Trichoscopy uh, many years ago. And this is still their name, which remained. And they're quite commonly present in capitis. However, they are not typical or not specific because we may also see them in some other diseases. Trichoscopy may also serve the monitoring of tinea capitis. Here you see an image with typical features of tinea capitis in a child and on the right side, the same child with no trichoscopy features of tinea capitis. However, what is important is that we cannot base our decision about the discontinuation of treatment only on the basis of trichoscopy because the trichoscopy normalization takes place at least few weeks before the culture is negative. So we may consider the normalization of trichoscopy a good prognostic sign, but definitely not a manifestation of a fully successful therapy. I would like to tell you about one more method, which we also described some time ago, and I will use this case to present the method. This is a three-year-old child with a hairless area of a two-month duration. We performed trichoscopy. It was not so clear, maybe a coma hair here or there, but nothing really specific. So we 
use a dermoscope with UV light. And when we use a dermoscope with a UV light, we saw the clear fluorescence. And yes, this was confirmed by a mycology culture that this was microsporum canis with a typical fluorescence, greenish or bluish fluorescence of a microsporum canis. If you would like to learn about some details about tinea capitis and trichoscopy, please consider taking a look at this article. This is a systematic review about the trichoscopy features of tinea capitis. If you would like to hear more about hair diseases or about trichoscopy, feel free to take a look at my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.